Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about A League of Their Own and this movie came out in 1992 and it's directed by Penny Marshall and it was just on Netflix and I thought it might be kind of interesting and there were elements that I kind of appreciated about it but overall I just thought this movie was fine. It wasn't really a movie for me and I do think it's a good story and there were like scenes that I enjoyed. I like the baseball scenes. I thought those were fun. And there were a couple moments of comedy that I did enjoy. And Tom Hanks was kind of funny. And there were some good performances in it. And I especially like Tom Hanks in the movie. Like without him, I think this movie would be a lot worse. But he brings the movie up for me and it makes it more entertaining. But I wasn't really all that invested in this movie, which is my biggest issue. I just didn't really care all that much because the characters, while they do develop them a little bit, I kind of wish that either we got more of that or we just didn't focus on everyone. Like, it's kind of an ensemble and you get, okay, this one is like really strong and like is kind of an outcast and is like a little introverted and like doesn't really talk a whole lot, but... And then we get to another character, and she's a mom, and she wants to bring her son with her because she feels as though spending more time with her son will be a good thing. And there's also one character who, like, can't read, and we get a little bit of time with that character. And I did like the team overall and what they were doing with the team characters, and... That's stuff I liked, but would I say I cared? Not really. It was kind of like just passively watching it, and it was like, okay, that happened. Uh, let's move on to the next scene, and I just didn't really care all that much, <laughs> which is my biggest issue. I wouldn't say this movie was necessarily boring. It's just not engaging for me, and I think that's, that has to do with the fact that I don't care about our main two characters. I find the most interesting characters to be everyone else, and our main two characters I just don't care that much about. Like, I like how one is good at baseball and the other is, like, not as good, but uh, trying to prove herself, and, you know, there was something there, but, like, as a whole, it's just not there for me, unfortunately. There were some uh, things that I did appreciate about the movie, like going back to positives. One thing that I liked uh, was that once we get to to one of the characters who can't read, uh, who barely gets any screen time, but once uh, that's established, uh, like it's uh, shown like uh, we see uh, which characters uh, made it onto the team and which were cut, and uh, the one girl, she can't read, but... uh, and then she has uh, someone help her and, like, find her name on the list of people who made it on the team. And, like, if your name was not on this list of, like, five papers or whatever, then you didn't make it. But and then they uh, find her name and she did make it on the team. And the way I described it, it might have only taken, like, <laughs> a minute. But in any other movie, I can imagine, like, that going on for, like, a couple minutes like it just watching that character get bullied and just like all this dumb crap that we don't need but how it plays off in the movie it literally takes like 15 seconds at most <laughs> like it doesn't drag it out at all and that's something that i appreciated and there were things like that in the movie was like okay it didn't ruin it like in a movie that would come out today probably would Or in a lesser film, should I say. (laughs) Like, it doesn't, like, beat you over the head uh, and making characters overly sympathetic. (laughs) Like, you just, you get it, and it just moves along. And one issue that I did have with the movie is that I do think it's too long for what it is. I would have preferred if it was just shorter, like, 15 minutes, maybe. Possibly 20, because... Although I didn't really feel the runtime, I just... A shorter movie would have been nice for me because... For a movie that I don't really have any investment in watching, 
it doesn't really need to be like two hours long, in my opinion. I also liked how the movie handled the drama in the movie. It didn't feel forced, and it felt natural, and... Like I said, things to appreciate about the movie, and that's just another thing. And there's elements to appreciate within it. There are things that I like about it, but if it doesn't connect with me, then I, it just, it's not going to work for me, unfortunately. But I wouldn't say this is a bad movie. If you want to check it out, then it's not a bad movie to watch. It's not a complete waste of two hours of your day if it sounds interesting to you like if everything I've said up into this point sounds somewhat interesting to you even if I kind of like talked about how I didn't really connect with it all that much if it's a movie that looked interesting to you like just like the plot of the movie and what I had to say about it positively like if that's enough for you then I think you'll enjoy it but if it doesn't sound like a movie for you, then it's not going to work for you, in my opinion. And with all that being said, I'm going to give A League of Their Own a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of A League of Their Own and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Ted. So look forward to that, but until I get that up... Thank you for watching and have a great day.